so usually I would have an intro that shows you an image of what we're going to be accomplishing at the end of today's lesson but since this doesn't involve any actually modeling it's not at the beginning as all my tutorials guides tips how to's and requests will in the future if you're viewing a modeling tutorial on youtube or vimeo and they don't show you a picture of the finished product of the video in the first 30 to 60 seconds, the video producer doesn't know how to make a high quality tutorial and I would move on. Otherwise, how do you know what it should look like at the end and what you're going to be producing? Alright, so now that we have Blender downloaded in our folder that we selected, we can install it. Now, I already have it open this is the window that, that it will give you. We're going to install the latest version which happens to be 2.72a. First however I'm going to show you something neat. Every time you install a Blender update whether it be a minor or major revision it creates a new folder named the version. For example we're going to navigate to where Blender keeps uh, some of its files it's in your main drive that Blender is installed on, which happens to be C for me and most users. It'll be in Users on Windows 7, Vista 8, and then it'll be in your user folder, and then it'll be in App Data, which is a hidden folder by default. If you don't know how to unhide folders, you might wanna google that because that's pretty simple to figure out and you should know that anyways in app data and then it's in the roaming folder and then it's under blender foundation it's under blender now like I said so the versions I've used on this computer are 2.71 and 2.72 so in 2.71 all it has is the configs that I used in 2.71. I've got a copy just in case things got corrupted. And there's a bookmarks.txt document that's just uh, shortcuts to folders on your computer that Blender uses. When you're going to open an image, for example, or you're going to save something somewhere, bookmarks is just you quickly hit it and bam, you're in that folder instead of having to navigate. Now, in version 2.72, which I've been using for quite a while now, since it came out, basically, you have a cache, which caches a ton of stuff. Um, you may not have this depending on the render you're using. I use the cycles render, so I've got some huge, like, one gig I've got 3 gigs of cache in here and that makes my renders a little bit faster. Um, again we've got the config folder, again I've copied my user preferences in case they get in case they get corrupted but also because for the tutorials I'll be making I want to start with just the stock blender setup so I've made my startup file and my user preferences as it would be in factory setup and I've saved my startup and user preferences and again we have the bookmarks saved uh, I didn't save a copy here but luckily I have it saved in another folder and the recent files list is just recent files that you've opened it very unimportant in scripts and when we go to add-on this is very important if you go online and search for blender python scripts Python spelled like the snake and the extension ends in .py you can add your scripts in this folder and then Blender will automatically have them ready to be enabled and use your preferences if you don't do that if you save your scripts anywhere else on your computer you're going to have to install from file in blender and navigate to wherever you saved them i like to keep them all in my add-ons folder it's a little bit harder to get to but in the end it's easier and it keeps things organized organization is everything in blender and windows in life. I like to keep everything organized. So this is all of my scripts that I have added on to Blender or that are stock. 
for example, um, uh, get path length, I believe, is stock. Uh, screencast keys was stock, but they removed it in 2.66, I believe. Uh, I've re-added it. It's a little bit buggy, so I might change the code around, but it still works in 2.72, uh, and it's great for making tutorials because you can see when I press the left or right mouse button or middle button or I scroll up and down and when I hit hotkeys um, it's not perfect it doesn't display when you hit keys like shift for example but I might add that functionality to that script as this, this is all open source anyways so let's get on to installing blender so again we've got the downloaded file I would recommend running and as right clicking and run as administrator whenever you install uh, an exe especially if you don't have full admin privileges it just prevents any problems you might have it's a habit I've grown into and it saved my butt a couple times so I happen to have it open this is the window that you are greeted with and it's simple just like any other installation we hit next this is the license agreement does anyone really read these no I accept agree you can choose where you want shortcuts I don't want any except the start menu and if you want to open blend files with blender or not this can be changed obviously in the future but you can select it here uh, Blender 2.72a has no options it's just a required installation option so we hit next specify the folder to install it in I'm going to use the stock folder that keeps everything again organized it keeps you and me synchronized you can install it somewhere else but uh, I like to keep it this way so that updates are easy and it says that it's going to require 249 megabytes it will be less than that since I've already got blender installed uh, 2.72 so it's only going to add a little bit I'm sure but our 60 megabyte download turns into 250 megabytes so we hit install and it's going to install it this is the boring part we could probably skip through it you can see it installing some Python scripts. A lot of Blender uses, actually, all of Blender uses Python. You can pretty much do anything in Blender with Python. You can make Python scripts. You can you can do key presses with Python scripts. Certain functions or add certain things with Python function. Python is very well integrated into Blender. So now it's c completed the setup. Let's run it for the first time by hitting finish. Now you'll see that command prompt window, the black uh, MS-DOS window that popped up. That does pop up every time. We have our startup screen here and all the factory settings. Blender 2.72A. It hasn't changed from Blender 2.72 other than the A, I suppose. Uh, it tells you the current time, I believe, and recent files, and just a few links that might be useful, especially the manual. I'm going to recommend that, and the Python API reference if you know about coding that is very useful so you just oh first I'm gonna mention recover last session will open the last blend file you had open at the latest date blender auto saves by default every two minutes and so that will recover your last session anyways so click it to close and here is blenders stock layout it's pretty simple. It's 
you can do anything that you need to from here it is not set up the way I like it it's not set up an efficient in an efficient in an efficient way uh, so we will be changing that in one of the videos to come but anyways that is how you install blender and this is blender 2.72a I wanted to create this just because so many of the tutorials on blender are 2.66 at the latest there's very few that are even at 2.71 which was the most current version a few weeks ago very few and there's even less I think around a thousand videos overall on YouTube for version 2.72 so I just wanted to make everything updated for version 2.72a and we're gonna stop there and we're gonna continue next time probably setting up the layout and some user preferences. We may split it up into two videos. We'll see how it goes. I like to keep my videos short. So thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe and like button. If you didn't like the video please let me know in the comments. It is no advantage to anybody if you just hit the dislike button without telling us why and if you tell me why I can make improvement to the future videos and they will just get better and better again hit the subscribe button so that you see all the new videos in the future and that's all for now thanks for watching